What's good, Boxing World? This is Zeb, your host of On The Ropes. I want to give a huge, huge shout out to Coach Calvin, Coach Kenny, the whole Upton staff, whole Upton Boxing. I hadn't been up there in a minute, man, but when I got up there, man, it was just like I never, was never gone, man. It's their family. And when you get among family, man, it's, it's comfortable. You get what you need. They showed your boy love. They fed your boy. Hey, man, shout out to Coach uh, Calvin, Coach Kenny, feeding your boy, man. That was a bomb fish sandwich. I always love getting a fish sandwich uh, from Mama's Place uh, right next door to the gym. So definitely huge, huge shout out to Coach Calvin, Coach, Coach Kenny for the lunch when I was up there that day. Now, let's just jump right into it, man, because... The day before I went up there, they, they had uh, the Rise podcast. On that particular night, it was uh, Bill Haney, uh, Coach Calvin, Coach Kenny's, you know, the normal uh, Rise podcast with Squeeze and Senior. And so, you know, it was the whole thing about a Devin Haney, Javante Tank Davis fight. So I went up there, you know, the following day because I hadn't been up there in a while to uh, see Coach Calvin. So I finally uh, had a chance to go up there. So you know, that was the first thing he said. So what you think about the um, what you think about the Rise podcast with the Bill Haney? So we, you know, we jumped into it, and I, I the biggest thing on on that night was uh, from the interview. Um, the day before, just going back a little bit, going back to the Rise podcast was, does Tank Davis need Devin Haney? And, and the answer to that was correct, which which is no. One of the big things I don't think people understand, man, and if you've been following my channel for a while and seen the different interviews that I've done with Coach Calvin over the years, he has not changed. He's, he's, he's told you. If it doesn't make dollars, it don't make sense. Tank ain't about them belts, man. It's about the money, man. When you when you come from where he come from and build yourself up from out the mud, man, to become a millionaire, he not putting no emphasis on them straps, man, that's that's owned by the sanctioning bodies. He not putting all his 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 credence and everything in and focus on on a belt. He focused on making the best situation for his family and the people around him, man. And that's what y'all gotta understand. Now when it comes to a fight, he don't turn down no fights. When they put it on the table, he take it. Coach Calvin, Coach Calvin, Coach Kenny, they put the game plan together. Boom. Facts. That's why I really, you know, talked to him about this, about this particular camp that he had going against Roley and why I talked about certain things that I knew about, man, because of the relationship that I have uh, with them. And, you know, one of the things that uh, from early on in that Roley fight was the setting up of the shot. Now you had a chance to see that video of how that shot was set up. Now, keep in mind with this, man. Every fight, there's a game plan. Tank doesn't go into the fight doing the same damn thing, man. You got two different philosophies. Coach Calvin is, I train you to hurt people. Which is which is both. But Coach Cal, I mean, but Coach Kenny thing is, I prefer to knock out, get you out of there, less punishment. Coach Calvin is, I want to see you inflict pain and punishment. So, just just thinking about that, right? Go back to um, go 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 back to the to the podcast, right? With Bill trying to make this fight with uh, Tank Davis. But hold up, you have to really think about things here. He signed a three-fight deal with uh, 
top ranking ESPN. George Cambosis activated his rematch clause. Devin Haney Promotions tweets that out about uh, what did he say? October. He tweeted that out. He also tweeted out about the uh, I mean, we'll share that I think on Instagram and also shared about uh, uh, some things that George Cambosis has said. So, if that's the case, if that's going on, why bring up Tank to, 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 to make a fight? Number one, Tank definitely ain't taking a pay cut. Number two, Floyd is not definitely not going to let him go over there to no ESPN. And before you say something, they're saying that Tank is not signed with him. You are correct. We don't know about that yet, about if he's going to resign with Tank or not. But we do know this. The partnership between Floyd Mayweather and Al Heyman. Al Heyman is Tank's advisor. So regardless, at the end of the day, he has to still have a relationship with Floyd Mayweather. And see, that's what people don't understand with that. So I go back to... To, to to the time when Bill was trying to make that fight uh, with Gary Russell Jr. and we saw how that all played out. I go back to that being like a similar situation like where we are today because it was something interesting that Coach Calvin has said because he said possibly looking to get the biggest payday fight before moving up uh, to the 140 so that will require because we don't know the ins and outs of the contract between George Cambosis I mean between uh, Bob Aram top ranked ESPN and Devin Haney and Devin Haney promotion so we really don't know the ins and outs of that but if he can get the biggest fight possible with a Javante Tank Davis knowing the fact that uh as Devin is getting bigger in size, that it's that much difficult to make the 135. I'm not saying that it's a hard form at all, but it requires a lot of discipline when you have that size to make the 135, especially uh, when you're still growing as a young man and 24 year old. 24 year olds are still pretty much almost at the peak of their finish growing but still he's he's getting uh he's getting bigger so i asked coach calvin is that a problem with the uh 135 140 and, and i said i explained that uh about that and he was like yeah because they already talked about moving up to 140 of course tank went up there to fight 140 but it was for a specific reason but they always said i'm a 135 so, we have to look at that and really, really think about that. Because is Tank name being used? That's my question. Is Tank being used in this situation because of the fact with George activating his rematch clause and saw in the dominating performance Devin Haney had against Cam Bosis the first time around, there's really no interest for people to want to see that fight, which means Bob ain't paying Devin that much money for that fight. So if he can get out that fight for a bigger payday to make up for the loss of income going over there to make that deal with the three fight deal then he's going to try it why not hell he looking like shit if ESPN paid Cambosis 10 million dollars for that fight against Devin Haney can you imagine the type of money they would want to offer a Javante Tank Davis which means 
uh, Devin money can be much, that much more. But Tank like, shit, I don't need nobody. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good in my lane. My fan base is good what I'm doing. So why you mad at not hearing from Tank? It's funny, man, because Devin is the undisputed at 135, but yet he's calling out Javante Tank Davis. Yes, in the heat of he and, and um, the only time I heard Tank call out somebody was with Devin, but as we sit back this this past week and see how things are playing out. As you going, as Bill went over to the Rise podcast and different uh, outlets trying to push this fight with Devin and Tank, that in the process, I, in the process of, of doing that, is hoping to get a, a better deal out of the situation, in, in my opinion. As far as money wise, because really nobody wants to see the rematch of of Devin Haney and George Cambosis. Tank Davis, regardless, without the belts, the biggest draw. About the behind what? Canelo, I would say. Because he's been the different uh Different cities selling out. We know Earl Spence is the big te the big fish down there in Texas. We know that. So, as we look at where Javante Tank Davis is right now, he's on the cusp of being the number one dude, and don't need the belts to be the man. And why are we mad at him for that? For 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 not putting. Oh, I got to have the belts, this and that. Nah, you, you really don't, man. You really don't, man. He's a prize fighter. Following that Floyd Brooklyn, man. And I'm not, not I'll be honest with you, I ain't even mad at that, man. Because, got to bring something to the table. Uh, for, for, for Tank to want that, man. I'm, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. I probably get some calls on it. It don't matter, man, but I'm just stating my opinion on what's going on right now. Shout out to all the different boxing medias, man, breaking down that interview with Coach Calvin, man. Truly appreciate that, man. Truly appreciate that, man. I put on for my DMV, D.C., and Baltimore. Again, I don't be trying to be all, all worldwide, nationwide. I do my thing here in the, in the, in the D.C., Slash DMV. That's all one. And Baltimore. <laughs> Gotta separate that, man. If you're from the area, you know why, man. You already know why, man. But much love, man. Much love um, to everyone in Baltimore, man. Real talk, man. Like I said, Coach Calvin brought me in this, man. That's family. I rode with them all day long, man. Got love for... for for Devin and Bill and the things they're doing, man. Real talk. But like I said, I roll with uh, roll with my squad, Coach Calvin, Coach Kenny, man. That's family, man. And got my young bull part of the team with uh, Jalil and Bernard, man. So I'm 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 happy, man. Um, where I am and and the things I'm doing right now. Um, with that I was almost about to start Talking about stuff That I couldn't talk about man But Yeah again I truly truly appreciate Everyone Showing support with the brand On the ropes I'm trying to get them big Them big interviews man It's, it's, it's taking time man You know It's a process One step at a time When it comes uh, To these young boxers man they, they They look for certain outlets And I get that so that's why I, I, I got so much love for the boxes in, in my um, D.C. area and, and uh, Baltimore that rock with me, man. Because they can very easily 
uh, go to bigger platforms, man, but they, but they show me so much love, man, I, I truly appreciate that. And again, I gotta give a huge shout out to uh, Coach Calvin, Coach Kenny, because the following night, Blue Blood Sports had set it up with Bill Haney being on there and they wanted uh, Coach Calvin. That really would have tore my interview up because I just I just interviewed him the day before. So if he would have went on that platform, my interview wouldn't have probably went, wouldn't have went viral the way it did and had other um, boxing media outlets breaking down the interview. So I'm truly thankful for that, man. I truly, truly appreciate that. Uh, Coach Calvin, Coach Kenny, man. And, and, and that's one of the things they talked about, man, was loyalty, man. So I, I, I truly, truly, truly appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. And also, uh, one of the things I'm working on, man, from, from my, uh, for the Baltimore fan base, for Javante Tank Davis, a lot of people are asking about that shirt. I, like I said, I, I, I I, can't, I, I won't sell it. I would never do that. So I got to figure out a way, man, to like uh, get it to people somehow without selling it, man. Um, maybe uh, they can, uh, maybe I'll show them that what the ad cost is for me to do it and they just pay that. That way it'll show that I didn't make no profit or anything off of it, man. Just to get into the hands of the people, man. People really love that dag going on. That GDT with the with the gorilla that I got on the front and the Baltimore on the back. Everybody hit me up, man. Everybody, man. Oh, shout out to the Rise Podcast, man. They show your boy love. They treat me like family. Man, they want me on there more often, man. It's crazy, right? Because I be in the car listening to them, so I can't jump on. You know how I be dark in the car, so you can't see nothing in. Plus, I like to concentrate on driving anyway. And I'll be listening to the podcast, man. But, man, much love to the Rise Podcast, man. Over, I think it's close to 11,000 subscribers that fast, man. It's blowing up, man. I just remember two years ago, man. Coach Coach Calvin, Coach Kenny, we uh, standing by the mural at Upton. Uh, of the mural of uh, Javante Tank Davis and, and the coaches, man. We were just standing there talking about the Rise Podcast. And... Look where it is today, man. That's crazy. So, like I said, man, that's that's family. Um, you're gonna see a lot more stuff um, as as I free up certain things right now. Yeah, I hadn't been up there in a minute, man. I've been so busy in my uh, own area and the things I'm doing with my daughters. That was the first thing Coach Calvin said, man. So he understands, man. That's why I appreciate Coach Calvin, and Coach Kenny, because they understand. Um, how busy I am also as well, man. So, but like I said, once we, we link up, man, it's like we don't skip a beat. So like I said, I'm truly appreciative of that, man, uh, and, and, and the bond that we have, man, uh, between myself and Upton. And like I said, I, I truly appreciate that again, that they allowed my interview to come out before going on that platform. Cause they, as big as Blue Blood is, has 350,000 plus uh, followers, man. I, my my interview definitely would have got drowned out and probably wouldn't really got no views, to be honest with you. So, I, again, I'm appreciative of that, man. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe, man. I, I try to put on one of my big things on my channel is sparring. I be having a rack of exclusive uh, sparring on my joint, man. People just ain't checking it out. Gotta check it out, man. Gotta check out the page. I also do bullies, um, media coverage on American bullies. So the page is called Zare Brooks Multimedia on YouTube. So I have a different different platforms all under the umbrella of Zare Brooks Multimedia. But as far as boxing, on the ropes boxing, man. Tune in, share, like, hit the bell notification, and just check out the hottest, the hottest, uh, what I said, the hottest underground channel, man, because known in my area, and that's cool, and I like it like that, man, as long as I'm known in my area. Again, appreciate all the love with the brand Bully Talk. Uh, Zeb Pitts, that's my uh, brand for the American Bullies, and for boxing on the ropes boxing, man. I truly, truly appreciate it. I'm out.